Hi Virgo, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina. Today I'm going to be getting the energies for August 15th through the 21st. Um, before I get started, I always send out some healing. So take a deep breath with me in through your nose and out through your mouth. And then I'll get started. Okay, I'm gonna pull angel numbers for you first. Um, they're small, but you'll be able to see them. And I'll post the um, meaning of them in the comments after I post the video. So your angel numbers are five, eight, seven, Three. Okay, five, eight, seven, three. I'll write that down and pull your tarot. Okay, Spirit, what do you have for Virgo for this upcoming week? What messages do you have for Virgo? Okay, we have Justice. Nine of Swords, Six of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, The Lovers, okay, Virgo, um, Justice, you're getting justice for a situation. What situation is that? I don't know, but I think a lot of Virgos have been going through something or they have gone through something in the recent past. Um, a loss of a relationship or a loss of a job. I don't know, but for some reason, I feel like you're getting justice for for something that you've gone through. But you, with the Nine of Swords, you're still worried about it. You're still anxious. You still have... You know, you're still not sleeping at night. Like, you're worried. Why are you worried, Virgo? Things are going to be fine. The Six of Pentacles is the charity card. So it's also equal give and take. So either somebody's going to be generous with you or you're going to be generous with them. Um, I don't know. I, I just, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure yet. But I feel like with the Eight of Pentacles, you're concentrating on work, right? You're trying to get over that worry. You're trying to get over that anxiety. Um, so you're just focusing on, on making some bucks, making some coin. Then you got the lovers. So that's a soulmate connection. Um, for those of you looking for love, I really feel like love is going to find you. I don't know. Let's get some clarifiers. Let's see what's going on here because I'm not quite sure yet. I just, I just know that you're going to get justice for a, a situation that had happened, um, you know, recently, not, not too far in the past. At least that's what they're telling me. Ace of Pentacles, um, prosperity begins. So yeah, something new is happening. Some new kind of money's coming in, a uh, new job or... I don't know. Maybe you'll be getting a gift of money. I'm not sure, but I, I think you might be worried about money. I th all these pentacles, that's what I'm feeling. I don't think you're worried about love as much as you're worried about money, and that's why you're concentrating on working. But with the Ace of Pentacles, it's saying, don't worry about it. Something new is happening. There's a new cycle coming in, and money's coming your way. The prosperity is going to start. <gasps> look and you got nine of cups wish fulfillment so for those of you who were who are concerned about love um yeah i wouldn't worry about that um you got a wish fulfillment and you got lovers so you're gonna get your lover coming in virgo i think i i feel like you're getting money and love i really feel good things for you or should i say us because i'm a virgo too Three of Pentacles, recognition and reward. 
Okay, so Three of Pentacles is working together, right? Teamwork. But for some reason, I'm feeling more recognition from this card. I'm feeling like you're going to get recognized for something. Like you're going to get really noticed for what you're doing. For whatever you're working on, you know, maybe you'll get a raise or a promotion, but people are noticing you. People are noticing how hard you're working um, or the effort that you're putting in. If you own your own business, maybe it's going to take off. Maybe you're going to get well known for it. Um, but that's what I'm feeling from that card for some reason. It's, it's really, recognition is really being repeated in my head. So I feel like you're going to be known for something having to do with work. Four of Wands, foundation and achievements. Four of Wands is a celebration, right? This is the 1111 card. This is um, a family celebration. Sometimes it could be a marriage. Um, so yeah, that's just confirming loves, loves here too. You got money and love coming. Interesting. The sun. This is the best card. The sun. That's complete happiness. Whoever this lover is, is going to make you so freaking happy. <laughs> you are not going to be up at night anymore. You are going to be blissful and joyful and so happy. All right, I got to put you on pause. I got to let the puppy in. Hang on. Sorry, it's just too hot here to... Um ignore him and let let him stay out there for long okay so let's see what else we have for you okay you have the gates of triumph success success expands in your life so yeah i definitely feel like um i definitely feel like money with this one and it's on prosperity begins, but it's also a wish fulfillment. So I just feel like you're going to be successful no matter what you do. I just don't, I'm, I'm, I just don't feel like you can go wrong, Virgo. Whatever it is, I just feel like good things are coming for you. Ascending the mountain. Yeah, it. everybody's getting that card too. That's crazy. Um... It feels like you've been climbing a mountain. You've been going uphill. You've been fighting an uphill battle. But guess what? Spirit's telling you to keep going. You're going to get your sun. The sun is going to shine on you. Unknown territory. You are exactly where you need to be. Yeah, maybe some of you guys are feeling lost. Um, not knowing which direction to go in. So that's why you're concentrating on work or... But, you know, we all have to go through stuff in order to learn and grow. So, you're exactly where you need to be. You're exactly where spirit wants you. You're on the right path. Let's just keep going. All right, let's see what else we get. Dream big. Let go of small thoughts about yourself. See yourself succeeding. Yeah. Again, I feel like this recognition is coming in. Like, don't dream small. Dream big. Whatever's coming is going to be amazing. It's going to be huge. So don't waste it on a small dream. Manifest a big dream because it's coming it's gonna come true dream huge right now dream big father healing your personal power increases as you give any father related issues issues to heaven hmm. all right so any of you have daddy issues out there release control of that Give it to source. Let God handle it. Um, you don't need anybody's approval. This is your journey. Nobody else's. You need to do what's right for you. 
So if you're doing something that makes you uncomfortable because your father wants you to do it, well, sorry. This is not your father's life. He, he, he chose his choices. Now you need to choose yours. You know? Say your, you know, father wants you to be an accountant and you want to be a therapist. Um, you know, it's not your father's life. Be the therapist. Nobody wants to be a boring accountant, <laughs> except for those who do. <laughs> Don't mean to offend any of my accountants out there. Um, but you understand what I'm saying. Like, he, he, you need to let go of that. I, you know, he's your parent. He's going to love you no matter what anyway, hopefully. Mm. Okay, you have inner power. Okay, so yeah, I'm feeling like finally you're feeling like you have power. You're feeling like the magician energy. Like every, you have all the tools inside of you to manifest what you want. Um, your dreams are coming true. So I think you're finally going to start feeling you're in your own power. I think you're going to start feeling it. I don't think you're going to be in that nine of swords anymore. I think you're going to come out of that. All right. Let's grab a love card. Let's see what the romance angels are saying to us. They are saying, getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Okay, so for those of you who have met somebody, who have met your lover, um, yeah, just let them in. Let them know your hopes, your dreams, your fears, what holds you back. Let them know. Um, it's always better to be open and honest with your partner. For those of you who are not met your lover yet, um, they're coming in and you're gonna you're gonna take the time to get to know each other before you dive in really really deep um i think you're just gonna know know a lot about each other All right because that person's gonna really care to know i i feel like maybe some people in the past really didn't care it was like a surface level relationship but this person's gonna care they're gonna want to know you God, I feel amazing things coming in for you, Virgos. Pal, time to get out of a situation. All right. So whatever situation you're in that's making you feel like that Nine of Swords energy, it's time to move on. It's time to release it. Let go of what no longer serves you. Wind chimes, peace and harmony. All right, that's on the horizon, I feel. I feel like peace and harmony is coming. I feel like what your wish fulfillment is going to bring that. All right, let's grab some charms. Okay, Virgo. Um, we have the hot air balloon. So the hot air balloon for me is like, all right, picture yourself in a hot air balloon right you're high in the sky and you can see for miles but when you're down on the ground you can't so this is saying like see the bigger picture see see what is hidden from you when you're on the ground like you know what I mean big things are coming huge things are coming for you you got make a wish well like I said dream big your wishes are coming true Make it a good one. You got candy. Something sweet's around the corner. You've got peace. Look, peace on peace. So you're finally going to get your justice. You're finally going to find peace in a situation. Okay, you got the chakra. Um, chakra cone. Chakra point. Um, this is saying that you need to stay in balance. Maybe you're a little out of balance. And this is saying, get yourself grounded. Get yourself back in balance. 
you have the key. You have a key to success. You have the key to someone's heart. Or somebody's going to open yours. Interesting. You have the four leaf clover, or the clover, that means luck is on your side. You also have February and May. Um, so something significant is going to happen in those months, I feel. And finally, you have the, the clip. And the clip usually just means to me, um, eat a bag of chips. No, don't do that. Um, <laughs> it means you're holding on tightly to something, you know. Um, don't hold on too tightly. I don't know. I think that's it. I think that's all I got for you, Virgos. Um, I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give the video a like or subscribe to the channel. I would be so grateful. And uh, until next time, love and light.